Ayo, what's poppin' everyone? I'm sure a lot of you know the news by now, but miHoYo did both a Chinese and English reveal livestream for the new content we have coming up in 1.3. A link to the full livestream will be in the description, so anyone who hasn't checked that out yet should definitely do so. We've got some pretty interesting stuff in store once February rolls around, and some of that includes the Lantern Rite Festival, as you can see right here in the trailer that they put out, as well as Xiao coming to the character banners. Anyways, one of the things that they revealed is that you'll be getting the chance to pick any one of the current Liyue 4-star characters for free. I'm here to help anyone who doesn't know who to pick or simply just wants to hear another opinion regarding who you should pick. Let me preface this video by saying if you are decisive and already have a character in mind and desperately want them because you main that said character, definitely pick up that character for the extra constellation, no questions asked. Starting from the very left of the image, the first character we have is none other than Xiang Ling. She's definitely an interesting one to pick, not only because everyone should already have her, but none of her constellations actually stand that far out when you compare them with each other. Overall, all of her constellations are pretty good, though if I were to choose what I think are some of the best constellations to aim for for Xiang Ling, I'd personally choose Constellation 3 and Constellation 4. Of course, I play a support DPS Shang Ling, so of course I'm going to pick the constellations that buff her elemental burst. For my physical Shang Ling players, you guys can aim for constellation 2 if you choose to pick Shang Ling as your character. This will add a nice extra damage source when you auto attack chain enemies. Next up, we have my personal favorite 4 star character, Xin Yang. After extensively playing with her, this one is pretty much a no brainer for me. C2 is by far her most versatile and useful constellation, just trust me on this one. Being able to activate her shield that does intermittent pyro damage on command is probably one of the most useful things to exist in her kit. If you're missing Xin Yang as a whole, picking her up at C0 can also be a decent choice, even without the guaranteed critical hit on her elemental burst or the shield on her elemental burst from C2. She still makes for a pretty gnarly burst support and shield unit if you build her correctly. With Beto, I have a little less expertise since I actually haven't played her since closed beta test 3, so bear with me and feel free to correct me if I am missing something. But from my experience, Beto at C0 works pretty well and is a good choice if you don't have her yet. As long as you practice and master her perfect parry with her elemental ability, you can get some great damage without having to get tons of constellations. In terms of her constellations though, I've had personal experience with constellation 1 and I think it's a nice choice to consider grabbing especially if you play support Beidou. But outside of that, I haven't had much experience but I'd reckon that C6 is also a pretty big power spike but I haven't had the luxury of getting that yet. Having the chance to recently build Ningguang once again, this time on my second account, her combat attributes are pretty fresh in my mind. As a character to pick up at C0, which is what she is currently at on my second account, I can say that she's definitely a choice you won't regret. Even at C0, her burst damage is pretty nuts. In terms of constellations that she gets the most benefit out of, C1 is a good quality of life that adds better AoE to her kit, and C6 is just monstrous for damage. These two constellations are probably going to be your benchmarks if you are eyeing constellations for Ningguang. Along with Xiang Ling, Xing Chu is another character that I have loads of experience with out of this batch of characters, having played him from C0 all the way up to C6. First things first, at C0, you'll definitely want to consider picking up Xing Chu even if you don't use him. Why? Because of this actual passive talent that he has in the field. It says when Xing Chiu crafts character talent materials, he has a 25% chance to refund a portion of the crafting materials used. In the long run, this will actually save you a nice amount of resin and is actually really useful. In terms of combat though, C0 Xing Chiu is in my opinion one of the best 4 star characters at C0. His kit is ridiculous since he can both add DPS and healing to your team. For constellations, C1 stands out to me if you plan on using him for his heals, and for his damage, C2 and C6 are going to be your benchmarks for increasing Xingqiu's damage through constellations. 
Last but not least, we have Chong Yoon. At face value, he's a great support DPS unit even at C0. If you're starting to build a melt team comp or a freeze team comp that he can take a role in, then by all means grab Chong Yoon. Main DPS Chong Yoon's definitely want to pick up C1 for the extra cryo damage on his basic attack chain. C2 looks nice on paper, but from playing with C2 Chong Yoon on my second account quite often, I actually don't notice much of a difference anyways, since a lot of players, including me, will struggle to perfectly manage their cooldowns. Unfortunately, this means support DPS Chong Yoon players have their best constellation stuck behind C6, but don't fret, even C0 Chong does his job well. That about wraps it up for the Liu Yue 4 star characters, and hopefully you found this a little helpful or a little entertaining. This video was just a quick one to cover at least one aspect of what they revealed today. And other than that, I hope you guys are excited for Xiao and the Lantern Rite Festival, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.